Hey everyone, this is Ryan Sims. I'm a photographer and digital artist in Nashville, Tennessee, and recently announced Buff Ambassador. I'm super thrilled to be speaking with you today about Photoshop compositing and can't wait to show you what we shot recently in the studio uh, and show you essentially how we take an image from raw to real. Without further ado, let's jump right in and talk about the inspiration behind this photo shoot. So first thing when creating a Photoshop composite that I want to talk to you about is having a solid concept. You know, we can shoot all kinds of cool things all day long, but if we don't have some type of foundation, we're kind of setting ourselves up for failure. I like to always put together a, a Pinterest board and the concept that I chose to go with uh, was heavily inspired uh, from the music video more from the Korean pop group KDA. And so I chose to use an idea uh, that's really kind of uh, the beginning part of the music video. And it's a part where one of the, the singers is actually like leaning against a motorcycle. It's a very Tron-like motorcycle, kind of. If you've ever seen my profile picture, then you know that, yeah, I like that aesthetic very much. So yeah, so I decided to use a three light setup. So I had a Link. Uh, 800 watt second flash unit. I uh, had three of those. The Link uh, has a really cool magnetic gel dome feature that I think is really cool. Uh, so for my main light, I used uh, a blue color gel dome that I was able to attach to the main light. Uh, and for my modifier, I had a, a 60 inch foldable octobox. Really, really nice, creates a nice soft light. Uh, and then I had two rim lights. Um, and the rim lights are gonna cut out our subject, uh, Allie, uh, who's gonna be our model. Um, love working with Allie. Uh, Madeline um, Deshay, she's our uh, makeup artist. Uh, Maddie and Allie just create an awesome team, the dream team as we call them. The two rim lights both had a red magnetic uh, color gel uh, attached to it and uh, the modifier they both had was uh, this 14 by 60 inch foldable strip box uh, attached to them as well. Um, and so this uh, replicates the, the color scheme that was used uh, in the music video. Main lights blue, rim lights red, to kind of this big red screen behind her is gonna help with that effect. Camera settings I think are really important when it comes to this. Um, the way I tend to do it is I shoot my subjects at a higher f-stop. Um, normally it's like F11 or higher in this particular photo shoot. Uh, it wasn't, I think we were probably around F7.1 or F8 uh, for a lot of the shots. Um, and, but the reason why I do that is just because when you're, again, cutting out your subject, uh, getting the extraction, you want a good clean, you want good clean lines. Um, it, it helps with the extraction process. If I had shot the subject at 2.8 and the edges were really blurred out and fuzzy, um, it would just be a little bit more extra work in Photoshop to, to make that look good and realistic. Plus, if I wanted to add like, you know, this softer, more uh, shallow depth of field, I can always do that in post. And so I have always, probably 90% of my work has always been shot on a gray screen. And I just end up extracting it with the pen tool. Just because I can rely on my hand zooming in to a thousand percent if needed and, and you know clicking around all the edges and making sure I get everything that I need. All in all, with Cinema 4D and Photoshop and everything, uh, the whole Photoshop compositing process took about three, three and a half hours to create and this is the final image. So overall, I'm really pleased uh, with the final image. I mean, the gel domes make my life easier because they made the subject match the background. Super easy. <laughs> if you like my work, uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram and YouTube uh, and all the other socials. Uh, it's at Ryan Sims Photography. And of course, be sure to subscribe to this channel because I'm sure this is not the last time you'll see me. Wink, wink. <laughs> Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.